Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make a personal error Excel game series. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the, how to finish the attacking system. So now we'll show the damage and it will also despawn the drop and after 4 seconds it will respawn it. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. The, the link will be in the description. With that being said, let's start. Alright, so what I'm going to do is start working on the damaging system. So we're going to enter our main client script. And right here, what we're going to do is firstly get our damage variable, which is right here. And we're going to put it right here. And then when we do this, when we change the send value, what I'm going to do is if player dot values dot sent to dot value dot health dot value is equal equal to zero then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function right here and I'm going to call it so local function and it's going to be called destroy drop and it's going to take a drop as an argument and in this function what we're gonna do is task dot weight 0.5 and local old parent is equal to drop dot parent and drop dot parent is equal to uh replicator storage actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a folder inside of replicator storage and i'm going to call it despawned so d spawned drops and so uh local despawned drops is equal to Replicator storage, come with child despawn drops. And so drop.parents is equal to replicator storage or uh, is equal to despawn drops. Now we're gonna wait uh, our respawn time. So I want my part, my uh, drop to respawn every four seconds. And after four seconds, uh, drop.health.value is equal to drop.maxhealth.value and drop dot parent is equal to old parent now what i'm going to do down here is we're going to call the destroy drop function and we're going to send the player dot sent to dot value and after that okay so i'm going to fire a remote event before this and it's going to be called okay so i'm going to add the remote event inside of uh, this the remote folder and it's oh okay sorry remote event and we'll call it stop damaging and what i'm going to do in here is remote stop, stop damaging colon uh fire server okay so now i'm going to enter my main server script and what i'm going to do is okay so in here i'm going to put in a remote or game or well, where is it game dot replicator storage dot remotes dot remotes oh Replic replicated storage dot remotes um dot stop damaging dot on server event call connect function and that's going to take the player and when we fire this we're going to do player dot uh values dot sent to dot value is equal to nil and after that local player pets is equal to player oh okay so we, we already have available a variable called player pets so what i'm going to do is local current player pets is equal to player pets square brackets player dot name and if hashtag current player pets come and get children is greater than zero then uh local pet okay so local pet is equal to current player pets gonna find first child find first child okay so find first child of class model so we're gonna get the first model which is the pet and pet dot attack dot value is equal to false all right so now what i'm gonna do is enter my main client script again so main client and down here what i'm gonna do is um run service okay so we don't have a reference for that so 
local run service is equal to game conquest service run service and in here i'm going to do run service dot heart uh, okay so run service dot heartbeat font connect function and for underscore comma drop in pairs drops so, okay so in pairs uh main where is it okay so do we have a reference to that no we don't workspace convert for child main fold folder underscore workspace convert for child uh drops colon get descendants do and what i'm gonna do if drop con is a model then so if it is a model then local health display is equal to drop colon with child colon wait I'll find first child and let's see what we called it so i'm pretty sure it's called okay drops area one red drop health display and local bar is equal to health display health display uh dot background dot bar and local health display text is equal to health display dot background dot uh, health display text and actually it's called it's called health display label sorry health display label and after that uh health display text dot text is equal to and drop dot health dot value and the bar con tween size and i'm going to put in use them to dot from scale uh, drop dot health dot value divided by drop dot max health dot value uh, comma one and then enum dot easy style so enum dot easy style dot actually is in direction is in direction dot out and enum dot easy style dot sign then 0 0.3 for the twinning speed now i'm going to play the game and see if this works okay so i'm going to show the output and i'm going okay so as you can see this does work but what i'm going to do is uh go to replicate the storage pets and i'm going to get a uh maybe a cat and i'm going to go here uh player pets players proc cat paste it in now i should get my cat and if I press this, it should start damaging this. And as you can see, it does work. Now it might look like it's not twinning it, but it actually doing. Uh, it's actually twinning it. So I can go ahead and set the uh, damage value to a higher number. So I can just go to my main client right here. Damage. I'm gonna put put it to ten, and this should be a lot quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and get my pet again. Pets, cat, player pets, Polaris prog, paste in two. And I should go ahead and click this. And as you can see now, it does uh, twin it smoothly. And if it gets to zero, it should despawn it. No, it doesn't. So center is not a valid member. Oh, that's very, very simple to fix. We just need to do player.values.center.value. And that should work. Now I'm also going to change the damage value to something a lot bigger, like 20. And now if I give myself a pet, then that should be, that should work. Player pets, Polaris Prog, and click. Works. Okay. Now, if it gets down to zero, unable to assign property value object expected. Oh. Player dot attack dot value. Oh, it should be it should be nil. Sorry. Let me double check. Okay, so it should be nil. Now it should work. 
cat copy it paste it inside of the player sprung folder now that i have a cat i can go ahead and click this and this time it should work and it does and it should respawn after four seconds and it doesn't okay job.max health okay so i spelled health wrong but now it should work i know i said that like 10 times but i really hope it will work this time okay so click and let's see if it, this works these pawns and it respawns and at full health great and i can switch between these and everything works fine no bugs all right so this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped please subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye